Callie, say hi. You didn't say hi. Hi. Okay, thanks. Okay, so much enthusiasm. Yep. Let me show up your little coffees. Kelly's just there. She's just in her own little land. I am. I'm so excited to be here. I want to go in here? I just what is everything. it? It's a goth store. Sure, there's a store? the home of Nathaniel Hawthorne who wrote the, the um, which book was it? It's not the Scarlet Letter, why can't I remember? It's about the Salem Witch Trials, I just can't remember what it's called. The Crucible. He wrote The Crucible, so it's his famous house, I believe. I'm gonna Google that to make that make sure that's, you know, accurate. Because I could be wrong. We just went to the Salem Witch Museum. Thought it was cute and it was like a nice like telling of the history because I feel like I forgot stuff. What did you think? Um I thought it could be more informative, but I felt yes. like it's just dated. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's Ditto. a little it's a little pricey for what it is. Yeah. Like I wouldn't do it again, but I'm not mad about it. No, I wouldn't do it again, but I right. wouldn't. Yeah. It hurt just, my neck. Yeah, right? You yeah. have to constantly like <laughs> I think they need to update. They need more stuff like too. Something they've made tons of money on. They just you know, kept the money. I thought those four people sitting up front were actually actors, and they were going to act some. So did I. Guy. Really? So did yeah. I, yes. I thought they were going to tell a story or something, and they just didn't. There's four of them sitting right there, yeah. and they're sitting in front of everybody. So I thought they were going to do something. Nope. They didn't. No. Very disappointing. But we were off to Boston Burger. Yes, we're going to go get dinner at Boston Burger Company because I don't think I've eaten much today, and I'm probably going to be starving, and I'm going to get hangry. No, no hangry. Town Hall. This is where they filmed the um the dance party in the first Hocus Pocus movie. The lighting's really... We're gonna show off our fits. I got the Converse and the skirt. Black lace top. What do we got? Show it off. We got those Fila's. Is that <laughs> how you pronounce it? Those, we call her her grandma shoes, but honestly, they're coming back in style. Right? So you're just on trend. And then we got the Hellfire Club shirt, and you match my phone case. Hell yeah. Kathleen's downstairs. Let's go. Yes. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, I added that in the other one, too. <laughs> but then again, this is the north, so I feel like it wasn't as... Prominent. Yeah, it was mostly the southerners. very dark over here that you can't see it very well. We're in front of the House of Seven Gables. We decided to just come take a look at it. And it's really cool walking down the streets and seeing all like the old style houses. We're down by the wharf. We also just stopped by the Old Pepper Company candy store. It was America's first candy store. And we all got a truffle and it was very cute and delicious. 
And I don't know what our plans are next, but we've been hanging out mostly by the wharf today, which has been really nice because like the weather's perfect for it, which is crazy because it's November and it shouldn't be this nice. Probably global warming. Ranch? Oh my goodness. We got a little ice cream. What did you try, the coffee? Yes. How was it? Good. The peanut butter, chocolate peanut butter. Thank you. Definitely. Make airplane noises as Make you do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> uh, ooh. That was good. What I got Oreo that? too. So you got Oreo? My Let's try the Oreo. Okay. Make yeah. a different noise. Make a train noise. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go wrong with chocolate. <clears throat> you really can. Yeah. It's a train. Ooh, a double decker. Another train. Okay, that was the whole vlog. Huh? Nothing okay. else. It's the nine seconds of train. Got some breakfast. Lots of breakfast. It looks good as hell. We got pretty much the same thing, I think. Mm -hmm. You just have different eggs. I just got scrambled. And I got sausage. Oh, you got sausage. I got big one. Hey guys, so I just got back from Salem. I had a really great weekend. Um, we got a lot done. We did a lot of walking, a lot of sightseeing. I'm going to show what's in the bag. I promise I'll show what's in the bag. There you go. All right. Coco's sitting on my lap now. We checked out some coffee shops. We had some great food. We went to a museum. I'll just start from the beginning here. So we went down on Saturday. It was my mom and I and my aunt, her sister. And we drove down to Salem. It was about like a four and a half hour drive. Not too bad. This was my second time going. I went back in 2020 in like October. And I, even in 2020, I was like, I'm not going back in October. It's too busy. So we went the first weekend in November. And it was not very busy at all. Like, it was normal foot traffic. We got into restaurants very easily. We got into stores very easily. And I had heard from a friend that it was so crazy busy in October. Like, they couldn't get into anything. And we got really lucky. So if you're planning on going to Salem, go in the off-season. September, maybe... Definitely November. I mean, you're not going to get that Halloween experience, but you're still not going to get it in October at this point. It's gotten so touristy. But yeah, so we headed into town immediately. We grabbed some iced coffees. We went to Gulu Gulu Cafe for that. They were really great. Then we just started walking down Essex Street, popped into some stores while we were around there. That was kind of like our just exploring day. I booked tickets for the Salem Witch Museum for the afternoon, so we just walked around until then. And then we went to the museum and... I wouldn't recommend it. I think it's overpriced for what it is. Like it it gives you a basic retelling with like animatronics. If it was like a $5 ticket, I'd be like, "Yeah, do it. It's cute." Um, but it was $17 a person and I just don't think it was worth that at all. There's not much for you to walk around and look at. It's just kind of like you sit in a room and they tell you like the history and then you go into another room and they tell you a little bit more about modern day witches and the perceptions of them but overall like it just was not worth the money so so yeah the first day we kind of just like walked around to the museum um museum was fine i mean you know it is what it is we still had the experience it's cool after that we went and got dinner at boston burger company we had gotten dinner there two years ago so good i was starving by that point because i hadn't had much to eat and i had like two coffees and i was like all of the energy is out of my body right now we got like some apps and it was just so good and then after that we walked around a little bit more we went down to the memorial kind of pay our respects for the victims of the salem witch trials the primary history of salem revolves around the salem witch trials if you're unaware um it's more than just, you know, the Crucible, the movie, or the book. Not that the movie was bad, because well, no one are writers in it. So after that, we went down to a bar. It's called Bit Bar. I wouldn't recommend going before 8 p.m. because children are allowed in there, which is kind of weird because it's a bar, and I was not expecting it to be like that. We just played a couple of arcade games. I tried to have a drink. It was way too strong, and the bartender wasn't very nice. So I'm like, you're not getting any more money from me girly we were just tired so it was time to go back to the hotel we slept like babies like i 
can't tell you the last time I slept that well. Um, and then the next day, we got up, we went down to the wharf. We went and checked out where all of the goods used to come in down on the wharf. Um, we walked around in that area. There's a couple stores in that area. And we went down to the House of Seven Gables to check that out because I didn't get to see that in 2020. It was this really cool spot for it. It was like right on the water. We didn't go inside, but we, you know, checked out the house. And then by like the afternoon, I was again dying. I was in desperate need of food. So we stopped at this tavern and grill. I can't remember what it was called. It was right in the center of Salem, like right near the visitor center. And we just got some picky food again. It was so good. No complaints. Um, what did we do after that? I don't know. I think we went to some more stores after that. Um, I checked out a record store. I went to another goth store. And I'll show you what I ended up getting. Then we got some ice cream for Melt for dessert before heading back to the hotel room. And we kind of just chilled out, hung out together. Um, yeah, so that was our trip because then Monday we ended up going home. We stopped at a diner and then we just went straight home. But I'm going to show you what I got in Salem. Starting with... I did get a crystal, so I got this very pretty rose quartz, we'll do that, I got this very pretty rose quartz stone crystal in the shape of a heart. It is meant to bring love and self love and I think I really need that this time of the year. And honestly that's just me saying, where's my rich dying husband? I'll read you the card. There are many stones that can aid with love but rose quartz is number one. It represents and radiates unconditional love for the self, others, and environments. Keeping a rose quartz with you will help attract love and enhance your mood. Putting a rose quartz in different rooms of the home will create a peaceful, loving energy and bring positive energy to every inch of the house. Um, I think this was just calling to me when I was in that store. There were so many to pick from, and this one just really stood out to me. And it's just really pretty, and I do have, I think, a jade skull on my desk. I'm not sure if it's jade, so I'm going to put it right next to that. And then I did get to go to a couple stores. I bought this belt from Coven. It's a pretty chain belt that I think will look so cute with like a skirt or even jeans. I need more chain belts, so that was perfect. And then this store is called Vamp Fangs. They are right down on Essex Street. I bought a jacket from them two years ago. The nicest people, when you walk in, they make sure that you are finding what you need. They're super nice when you're trying on clothes. They're like, yes, that looks really good. Like, just really positive energy, and I love that store. So if you're in that area, stop there. Some of the stuff's a little pricier, but it's worth it, I think. I got this beautiful shirt. It's really hard to show. There we go. It's got the flare sleeves with the lace on the bottom. And I just thought it was so beautiful. And I think it's Killstar. Yep, it's Killstar. I really like the Killstar brand, so I'm really excited to wear this. But I kind of just was trying to buy things that were more of a necessity or a must-have, and this shirt was a must-have. So, so yeah, that was my trip to Salem. I hope you guys enjoyed going with me. I've been really enjoying being able to vlog while I travel and go to new places, and I I hope to keep doing that. I'm thinking that I have another trip coming up in January, somewhere I've never been. So if you're interested in more travel vlogs, you know, let me know. I mean, I'm not rich, so I can't go everywhere, but I do want to travel more, even if it's shorter distance, see what I can do. So yeah, make sure you like and subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys next video.